Hey, 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 it's your girl Stacy, and it's time for the weekend vlog. So today I wanted to talk about or share with you guys, um, and you guys probably gonna think I'm crazy, but anyway, I like to share information. So I'm gonna have a toiletries haul today. I have two items that aren't toiletries, but they're products that I wanted to mention to you guys. So um, sorry about that. So I'm going to be sharing um, some stuff I use out of my medicine cabinet, some of my cosmetics, you know, a hodgepodge of stuff. And, um, you know, just thought it would be helpful and just want to give my opinion on a few things. If you hear some clunking, um, some little doggy is in here playing with his bone. And there's a treat in the bone. So he tries to drop the bone on the floor thinking that's going to knock the treat out. So please pardon the thumping, but if it's going to keep him occupied and quiet, that's the option I'm going for. All right, so first, I wanted to start with my good old peroxide. So, we all know what peroxide is used for, for cleansing wounds, you know, any kind of minor cuts and abrasions we use it for. But my friend and former co-worker, Donna Lewis, hit me to another great use for hydrogen peroxide. I've told you guys, I posted a picture of my humidifier. And if anybody that uses humidifiers know that the mineral buildup from the water can, you know, make it a humidifier nightmare because you're always having to clean it. But Donna told me, you put a little hydrogen peroxide in your water for your uh, humidifier and it will help clean it. So I use that now in my humidifier, just like a little cap full in there when, you know, when I freshen the water and change the water every night or every other night. Works wonders. So thank you, Donna, hydrogen peroxide. I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of good uses for stuff we don't even know about. So I am just parting the bending down. I'm putting stuff in my recycle bag as I'm finishing it. Then we have good old Listerine. So um, this is self-explanatory again, but it is a sta staple item for me. Um, sometimes, um, and I don't mean this to be gross, but you know, sometimes at night if it's late or we forget to brush our teeth or something like that, I will get up, and my dentist has told me this, even if you don't brush, at least at night before you go to sleep, rinse your mouth out with, you know, some Listerine or something just to get those that plaque and stuff off that you can. Brushing is the best, of course. I'm not taking away from that, but I keep my Listerine for those times, when, you know, daily when I use it. But then, too, if, if I am just have a nasty taste in my mouth, if I'm tired, even when I'm, like, when I'm sick, and I might be the only one that does this, but I don't like to... Um, like use my toothbrush, like I get a new toothbrush after I'm sick, but sometimes I just want to just rinse and stuff. Listerine. I can't say enough. Y'all know about Listerine. All right. Um, this is a new product I am using, and I try. I told you guys I was trying to take better care of my skin. Now, um, that's one of my New Year's things, doing better for me. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. Um, it has a sunscreen spectrum of SPF 15, and so far, no, no um, complaints. I use it every day in the mornings when I wash my face. Well, actually, that's not that's a lie. I was using it every day, um, but I ordered a new product from my friend, um, and I'm going to show some of those products in a minute. But I'm using her one of the moisturizers I got from her right now. But this one is good too, and when I travel, I take this one as well. Okay, good one. Um, this was out of my medicine cabinet. This is a CVS brand of the Zyrtec D. I've showed you guys this many times. I've used all this up. I'm actually using the actual Zyrtec D now. Um, but this did this work well. Did the same thing as Zyrtec D for half the price. I think I bought this one day between pay periods when I was broke and um, I needed some allergy stuff, so I got this. Great product. I will rebuy. Y'all have seen this one too. I use the body cream um, as well, but I keep this in my purse all the time. Um, right now, I have uh, another moisturizer that I ordered from my friend, which I'll mention to you guys in a minute, um, in my purse. That I love that too, but this is a staple item. I always have this either at home or in my purse. Gold Bond Hand Cream. Y'all have seen this one a million times. This is my Neutrogena Rain Bath. I got a little bit left. Um, 
my friend Cheryl used this at per my recommendation and she liked it um you know but it is it is pricey so everybody uh isn't gonna want to pay I think this was like sixteen dollars at Target but I just love the way it smells it makes my skin feel moisturized it's not dry when I get out of the shower so I'm gonna keep paying this it is pricey like I said Cheryl got the pomegranate scent I think I haven't tried that I like the good old original smell um but again I'm gonna keep buying it um I rotate sometimes I use other washes but this one I always try to get speaking of body washes this is my travel size dove and I think I still got some left in here too um but this I just wanted to show this because this is a good product when you're traveling um you know, just to stick this in your cosmetic bag and take it, and it's, it's a good wash. It foams up. Let's see if I got some left. Yep. I'm not throwing this away yet, <laughs> and it smells great. So, um, the Dove uh, Nutrium Moisture Deep Moisture Body Wash. Travel size at CVS. Advil Liquid Gels. Love it. Um, I use these for any minor aches and pains, mainly cramps, just keeping it 100. <laughs> um, but I try to keep these around too with cold season and stuff being around. Um, if I ever feel feverish, I take these as well. I don't even need to say anything about this because y'all know I love me some Excedrin migraine. When I get those headaches and swish it down with a good Pepsi Cola, Nothing like it. Excedra migraine in your drugstore pharmacy app. <laughs> but no, really good, good stuff. But I do encourage you, if you really have migraines, of course, see your doctor. Um, but I have not been diagnosed with migraines, but certain times of the month around Aunt Flo, you know, I get really bad headaches. And sinus season, I get bad headaches. So this helps. Um, but again, talk to your doctor before you just start taking medicine. And also... Um, eat something because these are pretty strong and I've known people to take these you know before they eat you know and then they makes your stomach feel a little weird so anyway I still love it um and speaking of that time of the month this y'all may consider this tacky but I wish some people would show tell me about products before I try them so please don't be offended but these are the Kotex U um long ultra thin security um pads that I use um I do not like the always wings but they were the hit and everybody wanted them when they first came out and to me they are the worst so um and I don't like that new one they have either um with some kind of new mesh thing don't like them so again I wish more people would talk about this kind of stuff because it's a woman thing thanks to Eve um, so why keep it a secret? It is what it is. But no, I, I like the um, the longer ones so you don't have accidents um, when you're sitting down at work. And sometimes y'all know how it is. I don't need to get into details. But uh, the long ones and they're thin. I don't like thick pads. I think that's why so many people don't like pads because of the thickness. But these are ultra thin. They provide security. I've never had any accidents with these. So Kotex U. Um... Now, y'all saw during the snowstorm how I said I had to go out and buy some deodorant. So you get what you pay for. That's all I'm going to say. I haven't used Mitchum ever in my life, and now I know why. But this was on sale. It's the Pure Fresh. I love the way it smelled. Bought it. Got it home. Now, watch. You see the little thing? I'm turning, 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 turning. This thing is not moving. I had tried to dig it out. Not moving. The worst money I ever spent. Would have taken it back, but I did not have the receipt. I lost it somewhere. Um, but it was only like a $2. That's probably why I got it. But it smells great. If anyone ever tries it, let me know. But I couldn't get it to come out. Trash! So, then I have my Vaseline Lip Therapy. Can you guys see that? This is the Cocoa Butter. I have dug and dug and dug this stuff out. I keep it in a little container that I have, a little box by my couch where I have my Kleenex and my phone charger and all that stuff. So when I'm watching TV, if my lips get dry, I just grab it. And my honey bunny put this in my 
stocking last Christmas. <laughs> so I have another one now. I got the one, the pink one. I forgot what this uh, scent is or whatever, but it's got a pink tint to it. But I love this stuff. It's not my everyday, you know, like I said, I just keep it around on my couch when I'm watching TV. And I mentioned some products that I bought. And this is my friend sells the, uh-oh, Perfectly Posh products. I think I'm saying that right. And she sent me some samples. Um, trying to see. Yeah. So, I bought this on the Day and Night Cream. You guys can't see it. But it's a moisturizer. Um, day and Night. This is just a little sample she sent me. And I love it. I went and bought the big tube. It was about $18, but it's really good. Um, it, it feels like um, the moisturizers you get when you go to a professional salon and get a facial. I love the smell, and I love how supple and moisturizer makes my skin feel. So I ordered that. Then they had a hand cream that she sent me a sample of. Um, and let me, let me Google this real quick so make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. I believe it's perfectly posh. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. This is taking up time. I'm sorry. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. I get, I get sidetracked. But it's called Amazing, and it is... Um, so that's what I'm using. And I, I bought the tube, and that one, the hand cream that goes in my purse, is $9. And I'll put the um, name of the stuff in my um, at the in my YouTube um, information and on Facebook, what it's called, y'all, because I want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing. It's something posh, but I'm not sure. I can't read the little bitty writing anymore. This was another sample she sent me. It was okay. I didn't buy it, but it's another cream, like moisturizer. Okay. Um, hold on one second. Maybe I think I got it, y'all. Hold on. This is taking up time, and I really apologize. Yep, perfectly posh, pampering. Um, and my representative that I ordered from is Chris, um, Mary Pierce. I'm sorry. So I'm trying to, that's what it looks like. Perfectly posh. And they have all these different products. I don't know who the, let me see if I can. Anyway, it's perfectly posh. Um, and I just Googled that. Now these are the two products I have that are not, um, toiletries. But this Cascade um, Rinse Aid, it's just like a jet dry. I use Cascade, so I said I'll get the rinse that goes with it. Good. I'll buy it again. Actually, I need some more. Um, so I was very pleased with that. And then another Scentsy product. This one is the Blueberry Cheesecake. When you walk in, it smells like something's baking. I love it. And I'm out. So, CC, I need to see you and order some more. Um, but... That's that. So those are all the products that I have. And please let me know if you have any recommendations on stuff that I've shown or stuff you think may work better or you've got questions about anything. Let me know. And you all have a great weekend. I will be back next week. And take care. Holla.